Hello and welcome to my latest video. Uh, today I've got a video on the Z23, the top tier German destroyer. Uh, I'm very excited to have finally made it to the top tier German destroyers. Um, not too long ago I got to the Bismarck and uh, quite some time ago I got to the Hipper as uh, cruisers were uh, my priority at the time and I really wanted to get my hands on the Hipper. I actually really enjoyed the Japanese destroyers, uh, got to the top tier um, in that and uh, as I was working my way up to the Bismarck I decided why not go for the destroyers as well. I really love the Mus and uh, I'm hopefully going to love this Z23. Now I had just uh, a few moments ago made a full video <laughs> on the Z23 but I realised that I hadn't uh, set my recordings for long enough. And I lost the first uh, first few moments of the video. So this is actually going to be a two-part video. Um, and I will uh, go back to the future. <laughs> perhaps. <laughs> shortly. But I just wanted to give a bit of a rundown of the Z23. And when you uh, rejoin me, or when I rejoin you, um, we'll be running through the options. And we're going to give it a first play. But uh, yeah, very excited to have this ship now. Uh, always wanted to get my hands on it. Um, didn't know if I was ever going to actually do it, but uh, I'm glad I finally have. So as you can see, I have already upgraded the ship, but I'll get to that in a few moments. But let's have a look at an overview, overview of the ship. Uh, she's tough. She has an above average base HP rating, which is always great. She has big guns. The ship is armed with high caliber main battery guns, which is awesome, especially when you come into those destroyer on destroyer combat. She has extended sonar. Sonar's range or duration is increased, which again, massive bonus. Uh, destroyers really rely on their sonar quite often. Um, so really, it all looks great to me. So let's have a look at a bit of info about the Z23. She was developed from the Liberect Mass class destroyers, 1936 A-type. This ship had larger dimensions and greater firepower compared to a prototype. She received 150mm main gun mounts, but retained the torpedo armament of her predecessor. So the jump up in size has obviously given her a bit more armour and uh, a bit more uh, hit point base to work with, which is great. And also enables her to have 150mm uh, guns, which is great for a destroyer. Uh, that's going to let us take on cruisers and of course dominate those uh, pesky destroyers. Those evil destroyers. Uh, torpedoes, of course, is what it's all about, though. Uh, she entered service in 1940, and uh, to show you how successful or how much hope they had for that series, there were 15 ships in the series, which is uh, pretty good. Fairly high number. And she is a beautiful ship. Uh, she does have the camo on right now. Um, you can see she is quite large, but... Uh, that has its bonuses. Yeah, very beautiful ship. I love the detail of these ships. Um, doesn't get much better than this. Uh, and I've, I'm very happy to say I now have all the uh, base German ships. Uh, now I don't have uh, the T61. Not too excited about paying 10,000 gold for that ship. There is a premium German ship I have my eye on. And it is a tier 5. <laughs> but uh, he is hoping that they have a bit of a discount on that ship in the future. And I will be purchasing that and doing a nice uh, unlocking video on that as well. But I'll leave that as a bit of a surprise for when that happens. It's also 10,000 gold, I believe. But uh, again, I'm not too excited about paying that much for a ship. Uh, I believe here in Australia that's about 50 to 60 Australian dollars. Uh, <laughs> that's quite excessive, I think, for a ship. But um, I would get my use out of it. as It is Tier 5, and I, I love playing Tier 5. Uh, all those ships at Tier 5 there, you can see. They're gayed. The Nuremberg and the Bayern are some of my favourite ships in the game. And just to uh, show you, obviously I've been doing a lot of grinding lately. I'm going to go down and have a look at the ships that I use for grinding. 
Now, of course, I have premium at the moment. So uh, all grinding is uh, very much rewarded. I highly recommend premium uh, if you're going to take the game seriously at any stage and try and get those top tier ships. Uh, the difference is uh, <laughs> like chalk and cheese. Uh, you really want premium. Uh, I did purchase it for a month recently and I've actually got a lot of bonus time lately by uh, performing some of the missions and stuff like that. Probably got almost about a week's free time I think as well. So I still have 21 days left. I hit my targets of the getting through the Mars and the uh, Bismarck and uh, now I have the Z23. So these ships here, one, two, three, four, five, these are the ships I use for grinding. Now there's plenty of other ships you can do this with and this is just the way that I do it but as you can see they're tier 3, tier 4 and 3 tier 5 ships because I find that uh, monetarily um, you're at the kind of uh, level where you can still have a lot of fun it's still a bit challenging um, and it doesn't cost too much to service the ships so if you have a bit of a bad game not too big a deal but as you would know if you've seen uh, a lot of my channel <laughs> in World of Tanks and World of Warships, I'm primarily a German player. I love the Karlsruhe. She's great. I get in there with the HE. She's got torpedoes. And that's uh, just a lot of fun at Tier 3. Konigsberg is my favourite ship. And uh, I was going to say, if you're going to have one German ship, I would have this ship right here. Uh, Konigsberg is absolutely amazing. Can do everything. And I mean that. He can do everything. She's fast, manoeuvrable. Has a reasonable amount of hit points. Her guns are absolutely amazing. You can citadel so many ships in this gun uh, with her guns. She's got great torpedoes. And they're set up on port and starboard too. So you've got two big uh, salvos um, sitting there waiting. The, the only drawback to her really is that uh, she is a bit lighter armoured. But she's fast. Um, everything you could want in a cruiser. Um, one thing that's disappointing in cruisers when they don't have torpedoes, but uh, Konigsberg has some great torpedoes. So um, I highly recommend this ship. It's only at Tier 4, so it's very gettable. You can grind up to Tier 4 <laughs> so quickly it's not funny, especially if you have premium. Uh, she's cheap to service, and, uh, yeah, you'll have a lot of fun with her. Uh, her guns, of course, are her main point. Um, they're just absolutely amazing, like a lot of German ships. Um, that's really their uh, main draw card. And uh, I love uh, citadelling ships with, <laughs> with her. And uh, she is really great at uh, hitting destroyers as well. She has a very tight spread on her guns. Uh, and two guns aft as well, which is great. And, uh, yeah, you can take out destroyers fairly quickly and fairly easily. And uh, move on to hitting those uh, enemy cruisers. Uh, she's also no slouch at sinking uh, enemy battleships either. Uh, she has a, a spotting plane, or fighters. Uh, the sonar as well, which is fantastic. Uh, so, yeah, <laughs> I am very much in love with the Konigsberg. I have always wanted to... Uh, purchase her unique camouflage which gives her her red funnels which was what she was famous for but at 3000 gold it's very very expensive though I am tempted because I do use her more than any other ship um, as you can see I do have 1000 gold sitting there uh, from some all my bonus missions and stuff I've done while I've been grinding so it means I only need 2000 more gold so I am tempted I am tempted so one day I may get the permanent camo and do a little video on that I am tempted to do it right now, but I have <laughs> to stay in control. The Gaid is, uh, again, she's tier 5, so it's not too much servicing. There's a lot of nice big enemy ships at that uh, uh, at that tier for sinking. Uh, she's a great destroyer, good firepower, good torpedoes. And, uh, yeah, I love to charge in and do some damage with her. Nuremberg's just basically Konigsberg, but uh, very much upgraded. Again, lighter on the armor, but fantastic guns, fast and maneuverable. And the mighty Bayern. She is great. Now her guns are devastating. She has really good armor. She's a little bit slow from memory, but not uh, slow as some other battleships out there. And at tier 5, again, low service cost. And uh, she can destroy uh, pretty much any ship out there. 
So these five ships here, basically, I just go, I play a game in the Karlsruhe, play a game in the Konigsberg, play a game in the Gade, play a game in the Nuremberg, play a game in the Bayern, and then I start all over again, and uh, I play very aggressively. Speed is of the essence for me when I'm grinding. So I basically just pump these ships uh, whenever I play, especially when I've got premium here. And before you know it, you'll have millions of credits, you'll have a ton of global XP, you'll have a lot of ship XP, of course, and uh, you'll get those challenges done. You can cover all the uh, missions with all of these ships as well, so get all those bonus bonus points, bonus cash, gold, etc. Um, and yeah, that that is other ships that I use for grinding. So. It's just a little bit of an overview um, of what I do. Of course, you could swap those ships over. Every nation has, um, you know, Konigsberg-esque ships or Bayern-esque ships or <laughs> etc. But I like Tier 5. I think Tier 5 is still fun, challenging, has cool ships in it, um, but it's still a lot of money to be made there. Uh, quite often, uh, I used to hop in, say, uh, Pensacola. Uh, I used to love my uh, New Mexico, really loved New Mexico, but, you know, Pensacola is a good ship for that as well. Should do a lot of uh, citadeling. Omaha's fun. Could just as easily do some uh, work in the Phoenix. Um, yeah, all nations have their, uh, their own great ships for grinding, but this is just how I do it. And I, like I said, I am a bit of a slave to German ships, so... Okay, so you're going to move on to the second part of this video now which is uh <laughs> the video i made earlier on the z23 so i hope you enjoy the rest of the video uh, i think it's well worth watching and i have of course my first game in the z23 you just have to uh watch it and find out what happens but i do go through uh the details of the upgrades that i've done and a little bit more info on the stats. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching this first part. And I'm sorry to have to break it up into two parts. You did miss the excitement of me uh, actually unlocking it and buying it. <laughs> which was a really cool moment. Uh, but I think this first part of the video uh, has gone pretty well. So I shall uh, finish up now and see you in the second part of the video. Uh, as you can see there, the loadout's pretty good. We've got uh, two sonars, two engine boosts, two smokes. And of course we have all of our boosters here. So let's chuck on some boosters. Uh, let's go all the way up. So I'm going to up our guns, movement speed and consumables. Let's do the same with credits. I actually don't have any more XP boosters left. <laughs> I've been burning through those, as you can see by the amount of my <laughs> XP. Uh, Commander XP, why not? Let's go all out. Let's go all out on everything. Chuck on our early adopter flag. Now, I have been run using a lot of my camos. I have just recently stopped using them to keep them for this ship. Uh, so this looks... Uh, like exactly what we want. Uh, plus point, uh, plus 4.5 incoming dispersion, which is nice, but uh, minus 4.5 detectability range, so that's going to help us uh, even more. And she's going to look a little bit nicer. All right, so let's go down and have a look at her here. All right, now she's looking uh, pretty sexy. I'm really excited to give this ship a try. Uh, I really enjoy my destroyers and uh, I think this is going to be pretty fun. So I've got uh, Reinhardt Shear as my commander. Let's pop him in there. Uh, that's bumped our uh, boosters up as well. Oh, sorry, our consumables. Got three smoke, three sonar, three engine boosts, which is nice. We're going to run into the ship's uh, options here. <coughs> Let's have a look at what uh, options we've got. So, 
as I said, there's two very important things uh, for destroyers. One is this here, and that's upgrading your torpedoes. So our torpedo range will go up to 9.5 kilometers. Now that is awesome. Uh, and tor torpedo speed is 70 knots. So, But the important part is the 9.5k is at uh, nearly 10 kilometers range. That is uh, that is so great. So we've got a nice big buffer... Buff <laughs> So we've got a nice big buffer zone uh, of nearly uh, what is that? About three three kilometres, nearly nearly four kilometres uh, to play with. So we can get nice and close. Try and push to maybe seven point five k's or so before we shoot off our uh, our volleys of torpedoes. Uh, as you can see, there are some other options here which are all great. Of course, having a larger hull nearly up to nearly 20,000 is going to be fantastic. But uh, that can come in the future. Uh, same uh, with our guns. Uh, firing range increase. Look, preferably I'd rather be just shooting my torpedoes and not being worried about the firing of guns so much. So that's going to be probably my last option, perhaps. Uh, and this one would actually be quite handy, which is upping the guns to the 150mm, uh, as mentioned in the description of the ship. So uh, that's going to be a bonus. And at 450,000, that's going to be uh, pretty quickly and easily done. So I think I'm going to be uh, doing that as my next upgrade. Uh, as you can see there, it's quite a, ups it quite a bit. I mean, the reload times are slightly slower, but it's still pretty good. Uh, but plus 700 on HE and AP, and AP is great. I mean, you, you're looking at nearly a thousand upgrade there. Chance to set on fire plus six. Now that's uh, very good. And setting fire to ships is always good. But this is what we came here for. The G7 shoulder butt. So let's boost that up. So as you can see there, I've uh, been saving my global XP. Been wanting to use that for a long time. Uh, my Bismarck still has one upgrade to go. Uh, but uh, that can be done in the future. Still got 21 days of premium, so I've still got quite a bit of uh, resources to bank up. But right now, let's straight away boost this up. And uh, this is one thing I love doing. Uh, when you first get a ship, obviously they're in sort of a... What would you call it? <laughs> base mode, minimal mode, and these are, uh, upgrades are very important, uh, especially towards the top end of the tiers. Uh, anyone who's played sort of top tier is will definitely understand what I'm talking about. Uh, so we're going to boost this straight away, and oh, that feels good. Look at that. That was a that was a lot of boosting. Now we can spend our money on the torpedoes. Uh, now, just before I do that, let me have a look here. Ah, yes, okay. All right, let's do those torpedoes first. That is brilliant. Now, as you can see, there's a little bit of a visual change with those. Uh, very nice. I can't wait to uh, launch those at a nice big juicy target. Now, of course, we do have our four upgrade sections here, and it's great on these top-tier ships. You get a lot of choices, uh, a lot of variety in upgrades. First one being more related uh, to your general upgrading. Uh, this one is very important. I'll be doing this uh, probably as soon as I have a little bit of cash uh, left over to buy this. I'll be straight away getting the aiming systems mod. Uh, as you can see there, it, uh, it really is a great all-round bonus. Torpedo launcher traverse speed by plus 20%, which is great. Dispersion of main battery, secondary battery firing range, and dispersion of secondary battery. Uh, now, as I've been saying, uh, main, the main battery isn't so much important to me as I primarily am going to be going for uh, torpedo kills, but of course it wouldn't be generally bad if you you know, you want to get a bit more stuck into the action. This helps your main battery traverse, but it does take down your battery time, um, battery reload time. So 
I don't think that's too important for a destroyer. Some people might probably want to go for that, but uh, I won't be. I'll be going for the aiming systems. Almost straight away, in fact. Now this one, uh, the second one is probably uh, quite a difficult one. But uh, my usual go-to is the steering gears mod because I like to be very manoeuvrable, especially when it comes to destroyer on destroyer combat. As a destroyer, you're probably going to be coming up against destroyers pretty regularly. And you're going to be in amongst uh, torpedoes, you're going to be trying to capture flags, and you're going to be manoeuvring uh, yourself into position to get torpedo, uh, nice torpedo launches. So it's very important. And a rudder shift time of minus 20% is quite large. So this is what I would probably be going. Uh, it would be nice to uh, have the power uh, mod there, which is minus 50% to get to full power. That could be quite handy. And of course, uh, fire duration and flooding duration would be very handy as well. But I think uh, the rudder improvement uh, pays for itself. The third one is the one we're going to be upgrading right now, and I think this is probably uh, arguably the most important if the torpedoes uh, upgrade is <laughs> perhaps second. But uh, this concealment system mod uh, just gives you even more of a bonus to stay hidden, which is what we want to do. We want to stay hidden the whole time and uh, be launching those nice stealthy strikes, especially and uh, capturing flags too. So I did uh, save up my money, and that's this is the other mod we're going to be chucking straight on there. Now, you could also definitely spend that on this here, which is uh, more rudder shift time of min minus 40%. The important part is steering gear repair time of 80%. Now, anyone that's uh, driven destroyers knows that uh, <laughs> there's two things that gets damaged a lot. One is your engine, and the second one is your steering gears. They, uh, <laughs> both of them have a terrible habit of getting uh, damaged, and uh, you become basically a sitting target. So this could be a very good upgrade. Personally, though, I love the concealment system mod. I think it's uh, everything that a destroyer needs, so let's put that on right now. I know 2 million is a lot, but uh, <laughs> these two upgrades are going to help us immensely. And of course the last one uh, is a 3 million dollar upgrade. Very pricey. Uh, we will get there. And again, uh, do you extend the range of your main guns? Well, look, perhaps, but uh, that's not really my cup of tea with destroyers. Do you upgrade your main batteries? Uh, traverse speed is going to be slower, but your reload time is less. Hmm. But, <laughs> torpedo relaunch reload time, minus 15%. Now that's pretty good. Uh, when you're looking at, uh, I, I, I actually can't quite remember now, I think it was a minute and a half reload time. Uh, you're looking at 15% off that, that's pretty good. Uh, you do have your risk of torpedo launches becoming incapacitated plus 50%, so that's quite severe. But, if someone's firing on me, and uh, I'm now spotted, probably my torpedo launches becoming incapacitated is the last of my worries. So, that uh, minus 15% reload time is uh, well, so valuable. So, that is what I will be doing in the future. Now, of course, as we showed before, in the future we'll be doing all of these. They're, they're very cheap. Uh, my, I guess, uh, oh geez, it's, it is quite a tough call between the hull and the artillery. I think probably early on I will choose the artillery. My second choice will be uh, the hull. Oh, should I say third choice, I guess, technically. And last of all, I'll, I'll be upgrading the uh, targeting systems. But right now, we're exactly where I want it to be. So uh, we're almost even at the... Uh, I'm only 6,000 6, uh, of, of free XP away. 
oh sorry global xp away from getting our our next uh upgrade so uh maybe bismarck will have to wait <laughs> and we'll upgrade a bit of z23 so all right so now if we have a look at our stats they've uh improved quite a bit so torpedo speed 70 knots torpedo range 9.5 k's i'm so so happy to see that and uh look at our detectability now it's gone down to 5.6 that is so good so we've got a range of 9.5 kilometers on our torpedoes and people aren't going to see us until they get within 5.6 kilometers of us of course uh, barring a few other options there but uh, that's fantastic so this is exactly where I wanted to be and we're now ready to have our first game I'm uh, really excited about this so uh, let's hop in Now hopefully this game uh, gives us a map with a bit of space to play with and uh, gives us some nice uh, nice juicy battleship targets. Hopefully uh, a battleship captain there decides to uh, go off by themselves <laughs> off into the open ocean and we're going to be sitting there waiting for him. We can only hope anyway. So we've got Northern Waters. Now this one... Uh, can be good and bad now obviously destroyers can have a bit of fun down at the uh, Charlie flag there going th through all those small islands but our detectability is so low I think we're uh, probably maybe at the optimal end here we're gonna go out uh, out to the right here and join a nice bit of open ocean yeah, she is beautiful, she is beautiful. Come out to the uh, right here and get a bit of clear ocean. Because you usually want to have your torpedoes in the narrow spread. Because there is times when widespread is okay. <laughs> well, she's quite a large destroyer, but uh, lucky, luckily our detectability is still low. So, Being large, of course, gives us more hit points. Not necessarily a bad thing. Okay, so we've got our first spot there, the Iowa. She's going the other way though, and uh, 20 k's, not really uh, in our ballpark. But that is a nice big juicy target. Iowa is quite large. We've got quite a lot of battleships. Uh, here we go. We have our first target. Is that the Sinop or the Sinop? I'm not too sure, but uh, hopefully we're going to sink it. So we're almost in range already. Oh, and a Scharnhorst. <laughs> now Scharnhorst is moving to the other side of the islands there. So I'm hoping the sign up is going to be coming this way and it looks like she is. Now as you can see, she's already in range <laughs> and uh, they've got no chance of spotting us at the moment. So that's why it's so important to have nice long range torpedoes now. She's actually going straight for the island there, but I think she's going to swing out this way, and she is. So let's see what she's going to do. Now, they've launched aircraft. Now, I believe our aircraft spotting range was pretty low too. Okay, so we're just going to launch here, and hopefully she keeps, uh, keeps coming out this, this way to give, us, give herself a nice broadside opportunity. But at the same token, that is going to allow our torpedoes to have a nice, big, juicy target. And it looks like she is. She looks like she may turn in a bit here. I think we're still going to be all right. Luckily, we launched that first salvo pretty early. I think right now she'd be spotting them. And she's going to try and get between them, which she may. Depends how much she turns. No, we're going to get at least one hit. So 10,000 damage in one hit. Now she's well within range again, but of course we're waiting for that torpedo reload time. That's where that uh, 
the next upgrade is going to come in very handy. It's going to lower that by 15%, I believe it was. She obviously got uh, used her repair option pretty quickly. Now, when these are about to reload, let's have a look what she's going to do. She's turning again, I think. I will launch one more salvo. Let's just hold fire for a moment here and just double check what's happening around us. Get too fixated by the target. I'm going to fire again. Now hopefully she keeps coming exactly on her way there, which would make sense. She wants to be front on to the Nagato. Save herself from getting, uh, giving herself, uh, making herself a big target. She's getting hit by uh, some HE there, but I think our torpedoes are right on target this time. First salvo missed, so she must have sped up quite dramatically. Hmm. Oh no! <laughs> well, there you go. She's uh, wow. That is a lot of damage she's done to the Nagato there. That's put her out of the game too. In fact, it looks like she's gone. Now, I'm not sure what happened there. I think she she picked up speed quite dramatically there and outrun our torpedoes, but uh, that's all right. We never were detected. We did some good damage, and she's going out of the game. So now we're going to continue on our way, but now... We're going to have a shot. See, now, um, that is one unfortunate thing. Her main guns are out of range, but... Uh, this ship is now... Destroyer's now coming in. We're going to give a little barrage there. It gives away our position, but... Uh, Yeah, outrun our uh, little salvo there. We have given away our position, but that's alright. I don't mind going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Jarvis there. She was fairly well uh, damaged, so that's more the danger for our uh, ships. But surely <laughs> they can take care of her. Looks like she has about eight of our ships all around her. Now, if that Jarvis... Uh, wants to it could uh, quite easily be coming out right about now if it does we're going to give him a nice salvo and turn off we've also got the hipper coming this way and she's quite far but she's turning in the only problem is of course if we fire at the uh, destroyer that may pop up here in a second we're going to actually deploy our uh, sonar now that uh, aircraft may spot us, but we're right on the edge of its range and it's not going to spot us. Beautiful. Now the hip is in range now. She's turning back this way. We're going to fire. And we're going to fire again. Now hopefully one of those barrages will uh, strike home. Now I'm just going to make a little bit of distance here away from that aircraft. So we don't get spotted here and give away our game. And again, it hasn't spotted us. Beautiful. And there go our torpedoes. Let's hope we can get a nice... Uh, oh, she's gone anyway. <laughs> We're really getting beaten to the target. Now, there's still an enemy destroyer here somewhere. Now, she's out here somewhere. Ah. Uh, ooh. Well, there's... That hipper had launched a nice torpedo barrage there. Got a good kill, and there she is. Looks like uh, we might be out of luck here. We may be uh, missing out on a bit of the action. We're at the wrong end. She decides to run out this way. She'll be gone, but it looks like uh, quite a few people have decided to uh, finish her off and get rid of her. Now, as we are top tier, we want to get uh, start getting some uh, some points and scores here, or else we're going to be well and truly in the negative, even though we have got premium at the moment. We've still got that uh, nice, big, juicy Iowa. That uh, may be out of our our options right now, but. 
there's four enemy battleships so I think we're going to be pretty safe in uh, getting a shot at another one now that Jarvis is still here in the smoke perhaps somewhere or perhaps she's done the smart thing and done a uh, runner she's probably right in front of us now actually and we'll get a chance to test out our guns and luckily most of the battleships are so far away I don't think they've got too much chance in uh, hitting us and the problem is of course um, we don't know where this destroyer is but if I was her I would have come right up towards me and then right around where I am and swung around to take uh, the Alpha flag. Alternatively of course she could have swept over to where all of her battleships are and be right in amongst them right now using them as uh, cover doing some torpedo strikes like just like what we're gonna do so she could be anywhere here right now but uh, there's a pretty good chance we'll spot each other at the same time but I definitely like the look of this uh, Jean Bart right over on our side and uh, pretty soon to be in range because the only problem is if uh, that destroyer spots us, uh, the jig is up. And here we go. Now, sometimes it's good just to check on the map. You can use your guns just to have a look at what she's doing exactly. So she's going to pass behind this island, which is the smart option for her. But it's a good option for us. Looks like she may actually be stopping or turning. I'm not entirely sure. So I'm going to hold my fire for the moment. Here, Margie's a nice big target too. It looks like she's completely stopped or going in reverse. Okay, that's even better for us because generally, when a ship like that goes in reverse, it stays in reverse. So we're going to fire one barrage. I'm going to keep sweeping around here. Oh no! Now she's uh, she's going forward again decided to go on the attack so we're just going to stop ourselves there's not too much danger of us being spotted here even though she's only 6.8 k's away just want to wait for her to pick up a little bit of speed I don't want to miss again like we did earlier oh no and there she she's stuck on the island hmm now the question is, do we... What is she going to do? I'm just going to fire straight at her now. Hope that she backs up. And then comes forward again. And there's that enemy destroyer. She was actually in range. I'll take some shots at her. But she's a goner anyway. As is the Yamagi. And she may actually reverse all the way here to try and save herself looks like she's going to do that <laughs> so we, unfortunately we've missed again we reloaded though with our torpedoes so but it looks as though she's going to reverse straight into that island so let's give her some uh, I'm just gonna fire my torpedoes I think we're gonna miss out on the chance to even get her if we wanted to so obviously she's the only ship left so it's not gonna hurt to uh, give a few shots at her she may decide to fire off at us it's quite odd she hasn't uh Actually, sure. Who she's going to fire at? There, her guns. There we go. Looks like she's going to be beached again. I'm going to fire straight at her. She's, gonna, <laughs> she's definitely uh, not short of torpedo damage. I think she's going to be dead well and truly uh, before we get. And we really missed out on that game. 
Wow. Uh, but as you can see, uh, yeah, our detection spacing really uh, saved us there. We only got spotted really whenever we wanted to. So that was a lot of fun though. I quite enjoy that when you sort of uh, own the seas there and <laughs> stay hidden. And it's very enjoyable. So my daily boost is done. Nice. Now, let's have a look at the economy here. So as you can see, ship service, minus 170,000. So unfortunately, as we didn't do much damage, even though we had premium, uh, we still ended up with minus 55,000. <laughs> so uh, that is what happens, though, at top tiers. Um, and I was prepared for that. I probably, uh, and I ended up right on the bottom there. So I didn't have a great game. That was fun. Uh, I did enjoy that. I'm so happy I finally made it. I have the Z23. I have all the German standard ships now. And I was very happy to make this video and share it with you. So hopefully upcoming, I'll be uh, uploading a nice, uh, a good game <laughs> with the Z23. And you'll be able to, uh, yeah, have a look. Uh, perhaps I'll have a few more upgrades by then too. But thanks for watching this video. Please check out the rest of my channel. And uh, I've been happy to bring this video to you today. And I uh, hope you're having a great day or night. And I'll catch you later. Bye for now.